Hey guys, welcome back to another letter video. Today, as you see here, we are going to do the letter D. So we're going to jump right into this one. We're going to get our hook and yarn here, four millimeter and a fine yarn, and I want you to chain 19. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. All right, what you're gonna do is you're going to work on the reverse side, so you wanna flip that yarn over, and you're gonna do one single crochet in the second from the chain. Then you're gonna work all the way across to the end, which should leave you 18 stitches. And I hope you guys are enjoying the letter videos so far. And keep in mind that after completing each letter, you do want to go around and complete a row of single crochet all the way around each letter. It cuts off any rough areas or joins or um, just anything in general. So it does make a neater letter. And as I've said before, I recommend you use a small hook and a fine or a super fine yarn. So keep these in mind. All right, so I've gone all the way around. Now for round two and three, you want to chain one, and you're just going to single crochet uh, row two. You get to the end of row two, you're going to chain one and go back for uh, row three and do a single crochet row there also. So complete this row, chain one, and do this once more, and I'll meet you back up. Alright guys, I have completed rows two and three. Now we're going to do the curve part. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn and you're going to single, or not single, I'm sorry, you're going to slip stitch in the first three. So you're going to go in the one you're in for a slip stitch. The next one, which is two. The next one, which is three. Okay, now you're going to make 20 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. Now you're going to miss 12 single crochet. So what you're going to do is count 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's going to put you the third one from the end. Okay. So what you want to do here is you're going to uh, slip stitch right here in this third one from the end so do your slip stitch here and do a slip stitch in the next one okay so now what you want to do is actually slip stitch you're going to slip stitch in that last one as well so now what you want to do is you want to turn and then you're going to now be working inside here, okay? So at this point, you want to let's see single crochet. You're going to do five single crochet, fourteen half double crochet, and five single crochet all in this space. So here we go. So you're going to start with one, two, three, four. And five that's five single crochet now you're going to do 14 half doubles so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, okay, now you're going to end with five more singles, so one, two, three, four, and five. Now, you're going to skip the first slip stitch, and you're going to slip stitch in the last two. So you're going to slip here and in the last. You're going to do a slip stitch there. 
Now what you're going to do at this point is you're going to go to round three. You're going to do, you're going to turn it, and you're going to do one single crochet in the first five. So one, two, three, four, and five. Then you're going to do one half double crochet in the next four. So one, two, three, and four. You're going to do two half double crochets in each of the following six, okay? So the next one gets two. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. So that was six half doubles, okay? And basically you doubled it because you put two in each of the six that gave you twelve. Now you want to do one half double in each of the next four. So that's one, two, three and four. Now you're going to do uh, five singles, one in each of the next five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then you're going to slip stitch in the last stitch which is here. Okay? So basically, and you'll have to kind of scooch these, that way that it's not bowing so bad, but like I said, our letters tend to do that. Um, so basically, yeah, mine bowed really bad this time. So basically what you would do is you'll fasten off, and then you will have your D. Okay? So make sure you space these out enough to where you can get them all straightened up and then it'll look like a D. Okay? So that is your letter D. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video also and I will continue doing letters. If you have a special request for one I haven't done, um, you can contact me on my Facebook or you can leave a message under the video. So until my next video, happy hooking everybody.